Hey, this is a screencast series called Vim on Alphabet. My name is Josh Branshaw, and this is episode 24 in the series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the double quote character. In Vim, this tends to be referred to as just quote. Most importantly, the double quote character is used to reference registers, both user-defined and system-defined registers. By default, anytime we yank or delete text, it is stored in the X register, and when we run the put command, it reaches into the X register for what it inserts into the buffer. We'll look more at that in a moment. We saw how macros work in the episode on the at sign. Anytime you record a macro using Q and a letter, it gets stored in the register for that letter. We've seen that Vim seems to know things like the previous file we visited and what our most recent search text was. How is that? It all gets stored in registers. The registers can all be viewed at once with the registers command. There's a lot going on in here, but take notice of the alternate file in the pound register and our previous search of the star character in the slash register. Macros, yanks, deletes, we can see all of it here. In addition to user and system-defined registers, there are some specialty registers. Let's peek into the help files at a couple. Here's the unnamed register, which is used for all kinds of deletes and yanks. Another fun one is the black hole register. Anything you put into this register disappears. It's the dev null of Vim. There's a lot more here, so definitely check this out and do some register reading yourself. Next, quote can be used to specify a register to be used by commands like yank, delete, and put. If we proceed any of these actions with quote and a register, they will use that register instead of the default. Let's see how it works with this handy workflow. Often, I'll yank something by hitting YY. Then I come across a line that I realize I need to delete. Now, if I delete it with DD, then the thing I end up putting below this line is what I deleted. That's because I wiped out my original yank with the delete. Instead, I can hit YY to yank this line again. Then I can hit quote underscore and then DD which deletes that line into the black hole register instead of the default copy-paste register. Now, when I put, I put the thing I intended. In addition to quote being used to reference a bunch of registers, the quote character is also a valid mark character, one that Vim uses to reference the line and column of the cursor in each buffer. This is how Vim knows where to place the cursor when you jump back to previously visited files. To see an example of that, Let's go to 23.md. Putting the cursor here on line 24 on column 45. Now hitting GF, I'm taken to 24.md. I can then hit Control O to go back to the previous file. And you can see that the cursor is right where we left from. That's because Vim recorded this position in the quote mark. Next, the double quote character is the comment syntax of Vim script. It can also be used with inline commands. For instance, if I'm going to set the text width to 80, it might be nice to include a comment here about what this command does. And now if I'm to revisit my command history, I can see that included comment. Last, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that double quote represents a common text object in both code and written word. Jumping down to this code snippet and moving my cursor inside the quotes, I can hit VI double quote, which visually selects everything inside. Then I can hit C and replace it with something else. That's it for this episode. Check out the help files for more details. In the next episode, we'll be looking at the single quote character.